YouTube and today um, I'll be showing you how to solve a Rubik's Cube a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube so um, this Rubik's Cube is called the the um, Dai ha the Diane Guhong Rubik's Cube and um, it is stickerless as you see so let's just get started and solve the Rubik's Cube so I'm just gonna go here mix it up So I think it's pretty mixed up there. And the first step to solve a Rubik's cube is to find the green middle. So um so I found a green middle here. The next step and you can hold the cube in any position in this step. So the next step to find the green So the next step after you find the green center is you find a green edge piece. And edge pieces are pieces like these. They are basically at these, 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 uh, like those. And you need to find a green edge piece. So you look around, and here you go. I found a green edge piece. Now, it's made up of two colors, and it's yellow and green. The first step, this, um, the first step for this is to, to match this yellow on the edge piece to its yellow center by turning it like so so just turn it and as you see now i have matched the um, yellow to the yellow center next you go back to your edge piece here and you have to match this green to its green center by turning it and now as you see we are almost done with our green cross which which we are trying to make the green cross so the next step is to find another edge piece so go around and as you see I found another edge piece green and orange the first step is to match the orange to its center which is which it is already so you will just make this green connected to its center like so And now you see we are almost done with our green cross and we have our colors matched up. So now find another edge piece. As you see here I found an edge piece, yellow and green. You will have to match this um white, I mean white and green. You have to match this white to its center. But as you notice, if you keep turning it it does not match because the white is on here so you will just have to figure this out on your own and try to get the white to its center now you can for this example you can turn it up you can turn this here so that the um, white comes here the white and green piece comes here you can turn this down and now as you see it is connected so next you have to um, connect the screen to its center by turning it like so and we're almost done with the cross now yellow green now you look for another edge piece here you go orange and green you will have to first match this orange to its middle center by turning it like this and now you will have to um, match this green to this center and as you see, we have matched it. Find another edge piece. And you will have to keep finding edge pieces until you have a green cross. So find another edge piece. Green and white. Connect the white to its center. Already done. Connect this green to its center. Turning it. Now we are almost done with the cross. And all our colors are solid. Find another edge piece. Red right here. Red, green. You see that the red is here and you cannot turn it. So what you do is you bring this up, turn this like this, bring it down. It's connected. Now make this green to its center by turning it like so. Almost done. Find another edge piece. 
right here, green and yellow. You can't connect this yellow by turning it. So what you do is you bring it up, turn like this, and now it is connected. And it's already connected to its center. Find another edge piece, green and red. You will have to match the red to its center first. Already done. Match this green to its center first. And now as you see, we have completed the green cross. Now to check if you have completed the green cross correctly, you will go around and you would see that at the end of each green, you will find two solid colors. For example, here it's white, white. Here it's orange, orange, uh, yellow, yellow, and red, red. So that means we have completed our green cross correctly. The next step to make this whole face green is to fill in the corners. So what you want to do is you want to go around and try to find a green corner in the third layer. And the corners are like have three sides on them, one, two, and three, and they are here or here. So just keep turning it around and look for a green corner. And if you if you can't find any corner and your corner is actually up here when it's supposed to be here or here on the bottom, you want to complete this following algorithm. So if your green corner is on the top left, and for this step, it actually matters. You always have to hold this green always facing up. So, <coughs> so if your green is facing you and it's on the up left, you want to you want to make it so it's facing away from you and it, and it's to the right. So if it's on the left, you turn the whole cube to the right and so it now it's on the right. If it's on the right, you see, you turn the whole cube to the right. So for this example, it is on the left. You turn the whole cube to the right so that this is facing to the right and the green is facing up and you complete this following algorithm. You bring down the right, you turn the bottom twice to the left and you bring down the right. Now as you see we have brought down this green. So once you find a green corner on your bottom third layer you look at the two other colors and the two other colors on this corner piece are red and white. That means you have to move this green piece, the third layer, in between the centers of the red and white. So when you're turning it, you look at the two centers it is between and the two other colors. So for example, I need to move this green in between the red and white center. So turn does not match because it's in the middle of red and white, um, red and yellow centers. Turn it again. And as you see, now it is in the middle of the red and white centers. And the two other colors on this are red and white. So then you have to complete this following algorithm. In order to make this corner go up here or here. Um, so if it's on the left, you turn it away from you, bring down the side, the left, turn it back, and lift it up. Now as you see, we have put it right here. Now you will want to find another corner. Here it is, yellow and green. You will want to match this, ditch. you want to drag this in between the two centers of yellow and red. So turn it once, and as you see, it's in the middle of centers yellow and red. Then if it's on the left side, you turn it away from you, bring down the left, bring it back to the right so it matches, and lift it up. Now you will find another green piece. And in this situation, and if in this situation, for example, if it is on the bottom, the green, you want to get it up here or up here. So what you do is you place it, um, 
you place it under the um empty um corner and and then you hold this so that it's facing to the right here it's facing to the right and you hold the green up and you move it this way bring this down and turn it twice and lift it up now you see we have brought this green up so after the screen is up just do the same steps find um, match it in the middle of the yellow and um, orange centers it's already matched up if it's on the right you turn it bottom once to the left bring down the right turn it match it up again and lift it up now you will find another green piece on the bottom if it's yellow and orange so you have to drag it when it's until it's in the middle of the yellow of the I mean white and orange centers and you want to if it's on the left side turn it away from you bring down the left turn it back here so it matches and lift it up now as you see we are almost done now your last one is here and if it's like I think I did this wrong wait one second I need to match this up Okay, so now you have two corners. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, find the green and um, drag it in between the red and white centers. And then if it's on the left, turn it away from you. Bring down the right, match it back, and lift it up. Now, we, as you see, we have one more piece. Find it again. Here it is. It's on the top, as you see. So you move it, if it's on the left, you move it to the right, the whole cube. So it's facing to the right, and the green is facing up. And you do the following algorithm. You, um, you bring down the right. You spin the bottom twice. And you lift it up. Now, as you see, we have brought this corner down. You look at the two other colors that the corner is on. For this example, it's yellow and red. You drag it until it's in the middle of the yellow and red. And as you see, centers, yellow and red centers. And if it's on the left again, the green side, hold it so the green is facing up. And you complete this algorithm. You, you turn it away from you. So turn it to the left. Bring down the right. Turn the left back to connect these and bring it up. Now, as you see, we have completed the green layer and we have completed the first layer of the cube. In my second video or or my second part, I will show you how to do the second layer. Now, this video is uh, split up into um, one part each and there are three parts. So um, sub subscribe, like, comment and I hope you enjoyed this video. See ya.